Hey there, welcome to the Build's Microsoft Minute, a quick way to learn tips and tricks about Microsoft Office. Today's quick tip is all about mail messages as well as inbox options in Outlook Client. In this video, we will cover composing, message options, sending, reading and responding, as well as tips for organizing your inbox. Remember that everything that we cover will take place on the mail component and that this is a video, so you can pause any time if you want to play along. So I know you're curious, so let's take a closer look. Once you log into Outlook Client, click New Email on the Mail ribbon. The message window will appear. In the To address, type the last name of the person you're sending to and click Check Names. You may be prompted to choose a name, and the name is validated once it's underlined. To add recipients, separate the names by a semicolon. To carbon copy somebody, enter the name in the CC section. Notice that blind copy is not available by default. Don't stress, it's really easy to add. Click the Options tab and click the BCC button. Then write the subject and body content. If you want to format any of the text, click the menu options under Basic Text. Looking for more formatting features? You can find so much more under the Format Text tab. Once you've composed your email, there are several options that you can apply to your message. To attach a file, click Attach File to navigate to your desired file. Alternatively, you can drag the file into the message window. To add or edit a signature, click Signature on the message window. To create a signature, click Signatures. Outlook allows you to have several signatures. Just think of all the possibilities. This next section is super cool, so hold on to your hats. Outlook has an option to add voting buttons to your message. Whoa! To access this, click the Options tab and click Use Voting Buttons. You can find the results on the sent message. There are several options available. Unfortunately, we're not going to cover all of these as this is the Microsoft Minute and not the Microsoft Hour. If you want to ensure that you reached your intended audience, you can utilize the Request a Delivery Receipt or Request a Read Receipt checkbox. Finally, if you want to direct replies to another user, click the Direct Replies To button and choose a recipient. As you can see, there are so many options available under the Options tab. Sending your message couldn't be any easier. Simply click Send on the message window and away your message goes. If you want to save sent items to a specific folder, click the Options tab and click the Save Sent Item To button. If you need to delay your message, click Delay Delivery. So you're ready to read your message. Well, before we do, I want you to know that if you're not happy with the layout of your mail pane, there are several other layout options found under the View tab. That being said, if you want to view a message, just double click on the message to open. To reply to the message, click Reply, Reply All, or Forward on the Message tab or from the Home tab, right-click the message for more options. Okay, who's going on an awesome vacation this year? If you want to set up automatic replies or other message rules, you can find them on the File tab under Automatic Replies. Need to tidy up your inbox? We have you covered. There are several ways of tagging your messages. From the Home tab, you can mark as Unread or Read, Categorize, and Follow Up. If you want to create your own folders to store your messages, click the New Items button on the Home tab. To expedite any action, use the Quick Steps option or create your own. Finally, you can move messages into the Archive folder or Task folders by clicking the Move button. The Archive folder will appear here following the transition from GroupWise to Outlook. Outlook stores messages for six months, so move important messages into the archive folder to ensure they don't disappear. You also have the ability to create subfolders within the archive's main folder. As always, thanks for watching. For more detailed information about Outlook, be sure to sign up for any of our classes offered through the Build. If you like what you're watching, make sure to click subscribe. If you're interested in more Microsoft Minutes, click right here. We'll see you next time.